Hello, what's up, everybody? It is your sister. Hi, my name is Princess Sanja, and I am here again with another Unisa video. With this video, we're going to be talking about eight points that will help you to graduate fast with Unisa. And yes, you're going to hear some chicken noises at the background, possibly even cows and sheep and goats if you're lucky. So I just want to apologize in advance, okay? And secondly, I am not wearing any makeup today. Like, I literally didn't feel like wearing any makeup, but I am definitely going to put a lipstick because I don't want to be talking here with dry lips while you're staring at my dry lips and wondering why she never actually put something on her dry lip. Mm, what else I need to apologize for? And, and I also, guys, I did try. Don't say like I didn't do anything about it. I did go and get myself this kind of thing right here, which is supposed to make things better. But sisters and is in the farms in the country. What can we do? Another thing I need to apologize for is that my lamb is like currently just like refusing to work. Good thing I've already apologized for that. <laughs> the first point that I would like to speak about when it comes to graduating with Unisa fast, okay? I've been with you with Unisa six years now, which is like not ideal. It's not supposed to be that way. And I'll definitely tell you my excuses, okay? I'll tell you my excuses why I had to study for such a long time, you know? But also some of the things are actually factual, you know? It is not only just, you know, like whatever. But, okay, let me just go straight before I start defending myself. Number one is start at the first semester. Start studying with Yonisa on your first semester. That's one of the mistakes that I did. Uh, but I don't see it as a mistake because, like, I didn't want to wait any longer. I started Yonisa when I had a three weeks old child. You know, I had just given birth with my, my daughter. So I decided I want to go back to school during the whole drama. So um, I started on the second semester. So I started in 2015 on the second semester. So now automatically when I am counting my years of studying, I have to count 2015 even if it was just a semester. If you want to like um, have something that makes sense to you, like study in a, within a period of time which makes sense to you, like four years exactly if your bachelor's degree is four years or three years if you're doing a diploma for three years, make sure that you register at the beginning of the year. And it looks as if Vela, that's the only option now that is left with Unisa since uh, COVID happened. You know, um, normally we would register twice a year, but now recently, I'm not sure if it applies to all modules or, uh, sorry, to all, yes, to all modules or all um, qualifications. But Unisa now requ requests that we, we register once on the first semester for first and second semester. Secondly, you have to pass all your modules and you have to pass all your subs. The reason why I'm including subs is because life will happen, okay? There will come a time, maybe possibly, where you're going to go to an exam and you're not ready. Try by all means not to make that a reality. Try to avoid that. But if it does happen, the worst scenario, at least make it to be a sub. Don't fail a module, okay? Try to at least get a sub and make sure that you write a sub. A sub is when you get like 40%. Um, yeah, usually when you get 40%, 40 plus, when you are like a little bit below the 50% the that you need to get in order to qualify or to pass your examination. So they allow you to write a supplement in order to get like, it's like a second chance in life. Because when you keep failing your modules, you are being delayed, okay? You will definitely start, you know, having what they call a leg. You are pulling a leg, maybe you are on your fourth fourth year you are busy doing a second year or third year a module and it causes uh, problems you end up studying longer than you would have studied if you didn't you know fail so number three you need to make sure that you have a financial plan about your studies about how you're going to study how you're going to pay for your studies if the plan is there and you, you the money is already there then your your modules are always paid in time your registration is always paid in time everything when it pertaining finances is taken care of there is nothing if you are studying of course that can stand on your way into finishing your four-year degree in four years but if you don't have a plan what normally happens is unisa students they would actually those especially who are paying for themselves you know you find maybe they are working and then they have to pay for themselves for their for their modules and then life happens sometimes and then there are like gonna be some times where you need to finance your personal stuff and then you have to cut on UNISA budget in order to fill other things. That's what we usually do in UNISA. So you find that someone who would have taken five or six modules that particular semester is only doing one module or two modules just so they can cut down on the expenses for that particular period of time. 
so doing that also kind of like you know make you be delayed with your studies and kind of make you study longer than you would have studied you have to make sure that when you're doing your assignments especially the first assignments you submit early submit in time the first assignment that you need to determine whether you qualify for an examination or not whether you would have gotten 100 percent in the assignment or not if you submitted late or you choose you chose not to submit assignment one at all they will definitely disqualify you so you'll have to pay again and you'll have to uh, re-register again and pay again with the registration for that particular module and pay uh, the the fees for that particular module again so you don't want to do that it's going to cost you money and your time you might not write the assignment too it's fine maybe you you know you will get your marks during your examination but also con consult with your consult with your lecturers with this information because it might differ with each and every subject or with each and every module another thing that most people might not be aware of is that you can actually postpone your examination okay don't say i said so i'm just giving you a plug here it's up to you how you do it deal with it or how you do it okay so there comes a time when maybe life is just like too much on you maybe you just got a breakup i don't know maybe you just got a divorce you just got served maybe your business is just you know having problems maybe at work you, things are just stressful or maybe at home um you're going through the most at the moment and you have an exam that you need to write you can actually make something out of it um i don't want to be held responsible by you this by saying these words but you can actually write an agro tent you can apply for an agro tent you can go on on, on my unisa and find the form or you can go to unisa straight they usually print them out and leave them by the door there by the inquiries you can actually just ask them to show you which one is an agro tent but it's written on top so you fill up an agro tent if you can do this within i think within five days after the exam has been written but to be on the safe side make it to be three days okay you can do this before you write an examination or three days after you have written an examination three days like the latest okay i would advise you do it on the same day of an exam or the following day but you do not let many days pass by before you do an agro -tart. so let's say you couldn't write an examination maybe you were sick maybe you had a responsibility at work and you didn't want to be you know absent at work and then lose an opportunity or whatever as long as you can provide proof of whatever you can if you can provide proof from your employer saying that you were really on duty you were working that will help they will actually consider you and they will make you write to the exam again if maybe you were sick or you were not feeling well you can actually go to your doctor the doctor can make you a letter you know, saying that this person was having fever, was having flu or a headache, whatever that was, you were suffering from, you and your doctor will know. And your doctor will actually give you a letter and that letter you will attach it with that form in order for you to be able to be given a second chance in order for you to be able to go and write. Now remember guys, I need to stress this out. For an agrotat, you qualify even if you did write an exam and you felt like you wrote an exam, you were not in a good condition. You were not in a good your good mind you were not fine whether physically emotionally or psychologically you were not okay you can still do this application and send a letter um for the doctor or your employer or whatever that can be like a basis of of proof that you you were not okay when you wrote an exam they will let you write again then they will take the marks of this of the agro test not the original test or the original exam or if you were not present at all also you qualify for this agro test okay so just to be on the safe side because life will happen during these four years of of studying or more things will happen there will come a time where really you are like swamped there will come a situation where it's out of your control and maybe you happen to miss an exam so this is a plug that i'm giving you so that you will know what to do you need to study for your examinations i cannot stress this any longer and the nice thing with examinations with unisa is that most of the modules at unisa they actually do provide you with the previous examination papers those are the ones that you can use to prepare yourself for your exams they are the best because they show you how they uh, set the paper they use also the same content and maybe there might be a different phrasing or questioning but you get a picture of the kind of an examination you're going to be writing so they very they come in handy in a very big way so make use of them they put them there for a reason for you to take advantage of them so make sure that when you study for your examination make 
and a habit uh, for yourself to actually use previous papers to study and prepare for your examinations. That way, chances of passing your exam are very much high and chances of you studying with UNISA for a long period of time are very much low. Number eight, last but not least, as much as I did mention that life will happen and there are backups that you can use like agrotarts and stuff like that, the supplements, as much as that is true, try by all means not to let life mess you up because there are some problems out there which you can ignore. I did actually um, in 2017 had a baby again, second baby during my study. That is the reason why my excuse is six years. I registered when I had a baby and I took off some of the semester off during the process of study. So there were times where like things were just getting hectic as a mother. As a newborn mother so i could take like semester off there were times where i could take only two modules or three modules just to reduce the work and the stress while i have to deal with the baby and some other stuff in my personal life so uh, in 2017 again i got another baby and the following day having to go and write an examination walking like a disabled person but because i was determined i had to do it so what i'm trying to say is if there are personal personal situations that can be ignored or that can be paused while you have to prepare yourself for your school. Please try and do so as much as you can. And also guys, remember that the option of actually taking off when you want to with UNISA can also backfire. I'm gonna give you a short story of my experience. Uh, they actually changed the modules that we are doing, currently doing in this particular course that I'm doing. Uh, changed the modules which were year, which were semester modules. They changed them into year modules meaning that longer period of time again for me to study it i had to wait for a new year uh, for the beginning of a new year for the first semester to register for them because you remember year modules are only getting registered for during the first semester you can't register a year module on the second semester because it's a year module okay so those are the kind of things that will mess you up if you are not paying attention and they will actually cause you to study longer with Chenisa. one of the things also that i had to suffer for so that's why i'm sharing with you so that you don't have to go through the same saga as i did so guys i thank you so much for staying tuned in and if you have not subscribed please do press subscribe button down below and press the notification bell so that you can be able to see every time when i upload a new video so guys thank you so much from me to you all i can say is i'll see you on the flip side bye